gritty, bleeding, triple my city. Don't score with the Steelers, no enemy. Hosing some Hennessy, catch us out stomping the yard. Cannon yards, my foot mechanery. See, it's nitty gritty, nigga, keep on getting litty. Two times a week, giving keys to the city. Tune in, get with me. I got that, I got that, see in the game a little differently. Welcome back. Episode 410. Nitty Gritty Sports Talk Radio Show. I go by the name of Roscoe English. And of course, I'm here with the bot. Got my guy Keys with me. What's going on, y'all? How you feeling out there? My man, Nick. What up, Flock? What up, big bro? <laughs> of course, last but not least. <laughs> Threw me off with that one. But of course, last but not least, Keith PJ. Episode 410. I like that stuff. Hey, Probably you right know. coming here with a dub. I was about to say, I'm glad y'all came in here with a win for for, for episode 410, man. It would have been bad if y'all came in here with a loss. Oh, you can't come in with the hometown episode with an L. Hometown episode. Y'all come in here with an L. I'm still 3-0. It would have just been bad for y'all. But let's take it to the bank and talk about it. Baltimore goes down to Jerry's world, came out with a win, 28-25. Lamar Jackson, 12 for 15, 182 yards in the air, one touchdown. That Prescott, 25 completions, 379 yards, two touchdowns. Nick, you win the tennis. Let's start with you. Yeah, you go ahead. Break it down, Nick. Yeah, no, nah, it was uh, – first and foremost, AT&T Stadium is immaculate. Like, uh, everything that you probably heard about it is that. And then some uh, – all the bells and whistles – um, you know, just as far as live game entertainment and the environment, like a football, you know, environment, it was amazing in that regard. Um, so, yeah, man, it was good to get there. There was a lot of Ravens fans that traveled and supported. We It was damn near Baltimore South in there. I was really surprised at, you know, just how well we uh, we showed out, you know, in Dallas as far as uh, Ravens fans being in attendance to support the team. So that was dope. And then, you know, as far as the game, man. Uh, how, was, how were the Cowboy fans? The Cowboy fans were salty. They, they, they were just salty. I mean, they weren't, you know, vile or anything. They just, uh, you know, were sitting there upset that their team was getting smacked. And then they started talking in the fourth quarter, of course. But it was a little <laughs> too late at that point. It was a little too late at that point. But, man, listen, you know, as far as the Ravens are concerned, we needed this win. This was a must win. Um, I will say that I was – I love the first three quarters. I felt like the first three quarters were uh, what you wanted to see out of an 0-2 team. Uh, but what disappointed me was the fourth quarter where we allowed 19 unanswered points. That did not show uh, that we've learned or course corrected anything that made us an 0-2 team. You saw how the Raiders lost this week to Andy Dalton and the Panthers after beating us at home. Or on the road, I should say. Uh, it was, uh, you know, to see us lose focus in the fourth quarter and have some of those fourth quarter issues rear its ugly head. I mean, in the third quarter when uh, it uh, ended, you know, I was saying to my homie, like, this is John Harbaugh's on. This is where I start to get PTSD and, and get nervous. And, and lo and behold, the lead just started quickly. It wasn't even – I was about to say slowly dwindling. It was quickly dwindling in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, goodness that we had Lamar Jackson – um, towards the end, he, he put it on, on his back and said, you know what, if we need a first down, I'm going to put it on me and I'm going to get us a first down. Um, and you saw and you heard, and I guess we'll, we'll touch on this, but he, he made some comments that, you know, as far as Harbaugh is concerned at the end of the game that was kind of specific to, uh, you know, just we can't let our foot off the gas. We continue to do that. And it's been, you know, it's been multiple seasons worth of a problem. We have to get that corrected. Quickly, I'll just run through uh, some quick points as far as the game. O-line played a lot better, although uh, Cowboys defense is very suspect. I, I don't think we can tell much from this game, but I will say that, you know, Harbaugh stuck to his guns as far as the offensive line rotation. Uh, didn't make too many adjustments. Uh, but, you know, Tyler Linderbaum had a great game, and I think he was like the architect or he was the main anchor of us having, you know, a big rebound on the offensive line. Uh, uh, one of the uh, adjustments that Zach Orr made on defense was, you know, he went more defensive back uh, heavy. So we saw a little bit less linebackers and more Dar Dar Darius Washington. He was everywhere. Kyle Hamilton. Uh, he was he was everywhere as far as, uh, you know, being used as a DB. 
um, and, and in linebacker like situations, he was all over the field. Um, you know, as far as linebackers, Trenton Simpson, I saw was active. Roquan Smith didn't have the greatest game. It seems like every time they wanted to move the ball, especially up the middle, um, you know, over the scene, uh, Roquan Smith was a victim. We're going to have to watch out for that because he's been a liability in pass coverage. And uh, I guess one final point, something that stood out to me, um, you know, we did go run heavy a lot as far as uh, two tight end looks is, or, um, you know, even just having Pat Ricard on the field as an extra blocker in line. Uh, but one thing that surprised me was Mark Andrews and his snap share. He only played 33% of the offensive snaps, which was the lowest in a, in a game since he was healthy in, uh, in his uh, rookie year. So that was very surprising. You know, Isaiah likely led the tight ends with 62% of the snap share. And it was only the third time in Andrews' career he was, he's been held without a catch. So I don't know if it's injury. I don't know if it's, you know, just ineffectiveness. I don't know if likely has just become a better player. But even with uh, an emphasis on the run game, Mark Andrews never has been that um, uh, that limited in a game plan or just, you know, snap share. So there's something going on. I guess we'll see as, as time tells, but I'm not complaining because likely, you know, has become a versatile player as far as blocker and receiving threat. But, you know, with Mark Andrews cap hit the way it is to be playing 33 percent of the snaps, I'm assuming that something has to be injured or he has to be hurt because the way that cap hit is he needs to be on the field or he needs to be packaged for something. But we can't just be having him be like a, a part time player at his at his price point. Yeah, um, I pretty much agree with everything you say. It's just I mean, the main thing is this. The most important thing is to get out there with a W. That at the end of the day, that's that's the most important thing. Um, you don't want to be on three. You don't want to be the Tennessee Titans. That that's not where you that's not where you want to be. Um, so it's good to go there getting a win. Like I said, through the first first three and a half quarters, you're looking like a team that you, you know team that we all thought we were going to see, all team that we thought we were going to use. And then you you know your your all pro, all world Hall of Fame kicker decides to miss a kick. That was you know that was forty six yards away and that all hell broke loose after that that's all that's that really was the momentum in a controlled climate yeah like it all hell broke loose after that so you know after that then you 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 result to the same ravens of this commit penalties you know the way we we lead the league in penalties that's that has never been a baltimore issue now we averaging 12 13 penalties 150 yards 120 30 yards a game you can't win like that. That's how you, that's exactly how you let teams back in the game. Um, they have to clean that up. That secondary has to get cleaned up. I don't know what type of defense they switched to, what type of defense they start playing, but you can't keep giving up blowing these double digit leads in the second half. Like it's getting old at this point in time. Like you want to be happy, you're happy that you got to win, but what, what really are you taking from it? I mean, it, it, it it's still the same. It, it, it's still the same. You, you still ended up, you literally was, you almost blew the game at the bit of 20 to six. Um, to me, it's still coaching. It still, it still comes down to coaching. Um, you, whatever, whatever, whatever message you're preaching to them in the second half at halftime or the fourth quarter is not getting through. It's time That's to change. Lots of that. bad, bro. Yeah, so I'm saying it's time. You got to change that. You got, you got to switch that. You got to keep your foot on the putt. You got to keep throwing the ball and um, keep, you know, put try to put teams away. That conservative stuff in the third or fourth quarter is, you know, that's that's how you lose games. And they obviously almost lost this game. But like I said, it's good to get out there with a win. I'm shout out to the O line. They played well. Um, Less Lee Harrison, but to your point, Nick, we we seeing more more coverage now, more cornerbacks, so less of them linebackers in there because they they just couldn't play. Um, but Dallas sucks though. Like that that that's that's what I really took away from this game a lot. Like as as good as we looked on the first week, that Dallas is a terrible team. And yes. looking at that schedule, I, it's gonna be rough for them. Um, yeah, Michael Parsons, you, you <laughs> it's so funny that players be so so great, man. Then when they when you get Lamar, you get Lamar overfield, they he he looked like a regular player. Like he, he looked like a Lamar was running away from him all day yesterday. Like not like just making them look silly. I mean, you was like on TV, just made it look look real silly. Um, he's still a great player, but I guess Lamar, he, you know, he 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 makes great players look look normal. Um, but yeah, that's that's my big Dallas. They 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 can't stop the run. They can't run. Um, it's CD or bus for them down there. So they, they they got a long way. I'm just like I said, from the Ravens, just get out there with a W. You still got a lot to clean up. I I mean, my biggest takeaway is the Ravens still getting pressure. You know, we we second quarterback a lot this year. Um, we getting we getting pressure on it. So it's it's really gonna come down to the secondary 
They got to get better. They got to get better in the back. There's too much talent back there for them to, be, for, to have this type of bust. Um, so, I, and I think it starts on the linebacker level. Actually, they got to get better from linebacker on back. Linebacker's not getting enough depth on these routes. They, in between that safety and the linebacker is too much. The linebackers got to get back. They got to get back further than that. They, you can't put everything in the secondary. The linebackers are they playing. I don't know if that's philosophy that always bringing in, but they got to get more depth. They got to fall back on fall back underneath more. Um, but yeah, just happy that one. Go on the Buffalo. Had a pick. Go on the Buffalo. Get out there with a W. Um, like I said, I think still, I think I still think our quarterback is playing at the MVP level. And yesterday, you know, he ain't had a stats going for, but like I said, I said in the pregame, the Ravens need to control the game. They controlled the whole game. That's what other than you know them coming back in the fourth quarter, they controlled the game. They ran the ball, they was efficient, they was winning time of possession. That's how you had to go down and beat them on the road. Um, but I, Lamar is still playing at like an MVP level quarterback, and he had the clutch plays to this week. The plays that we're not used to seeing him making um over and over all on a consistent basis. He made two of them in, on the same drive. So good for him and um good for the offense. I I, I think we saw more flaws like said. They finally figured out after a game and a half how to use Henry, and they showed more that they're using them. For, they run the screens to him now. They're they getting them outside the numbers. That's where you need to get them the ball at and let them attack. So they finally, finally figured out, really finally figured out how to use them. So it's looking good going forward. But the schedule gets no easier. So just yeah. happy to be just happy to be in the win column and not the Titans. Yeah, you get Henry out on the outside, get him on them corners. It's scary. You saw it yesterday with that stiff arm. Real quick about the Cowboys. They at the Giants, at the Steelers, got the Lions, then they at the 49ers, at the Falcons, got the Eagles and Texans at home. So that schedule don't really get no easy. A couple um, losses in there. A couple losses. Yeah, for real. But um, to yesterday's game, like he said, proud to get a win, proud to get the dub, especially when you got Nitty Gritty on the scene. Uh, you never want to go home with an L. Um, but typical Ravens. Foot on the gas, first three quarters, and then you just take your foot off the gas. Kind of been our mantra for the last almost 20 years now. I mean, you think Damn. About it. <laughs> I was going to say wink. I was yeah, going to ask, like, like, going back yeah. to, like, wink. But if you want to say 20, I'll take that. It's, it's, it's going back I, I since like whenever that. John arrived. It's, this is when that conservative mm-hmm. started. But um, like, I, like y'all talked about a lot, um, you still got to talk about this defense. They didn't giving up the most pass yards in the NFL this season. Um, you playing an empty stat king yesterday, Dak Prescott. That's where he's good at in the fourth quarter down, just throwing the ball. <laughs> empty um, stat king. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that's what he is. So um, they succumbed to that. And then, I mean, I go back to special team blunders again. This is a team last week that had a special teams issue on the kickoff. They had a penalty. And then this week, you look at the special teams and you fail to recover an onside kick. The when the game. when the team has the to tell game. you that they're kicking oh. an onside kick, they got to tell you now. Like so, you know it's coming. You should have that. You would think you have that wrapped up in practice, but to have that blunder and it almost ultimately cost you the game, um, you can't have that. And so, all these issues essentially go back to one constant. We always talk about it, and we'll talk about them more, but. Yesterday's game, what I took up from it, the Cowboys really are trash. Um, Zeke Elliott washed. Um, <laughs> just yeah, yeah. <laughs> from them telling he washed. Like, they expensive. couldn't run the ball at all. They can't run the ball. Um, I mean, they, they pass happy. They, if they can't throw the ball and CD can't get loose, then they're a, a tough team. Shout out to Nate Wiggins for some turnovers. I think the more he gets out there, the more comfortable he'll get out on the outside. But like I said, defensively, we still just giving up too much. And um, it's only so much. Just when you see your offense ain't putting out in the second half, that's when you got to be able to clamp up and get stops. And we haven't been able to get stops the last few weeks. Uh, a couple additional points. You me- you mentioned Nate Wiggins. He definitely uh, made a football play on that goal line. I was very impressed to see him keep his keep his his mind and keep his hat on and 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 play to the end of the whistle. But he also was credited with four catches on five targets. For 82 yeah. yards and multiple slants and sides. So, and the uh, pass mixed pass bag. Pass mm-hmm. yeah, the mixed bag for him. But I want him to get these snaps. I want him to work out these kinks because he's obviously a talented player. And then going back to the conversation that you guys alluded to as far as philosophy and put taking the, the foot off the gas, I just think that's just John Harbaugh has to grow past that outdated model. How many times has that model, um, not worked in our favor, you know, just trying to be a front runner and trying to um, like on even on defense, like in the fourth quarter, the philosophy is let's play prevent and keep everything in front of us and let them waste the clock. 
Well, that's fine as far as philosophy, but as far as execution is concerned, if they're getting up the field in a minute and 30 seconds, you know what I mean? And scoring a touchdown, that's not helping us. That's just, you know what I mean? And then to, to you guys' point about the special teams blunders, we're missing field goals. We can't get an onside kick. All of these things is like a perfect snowball, and you felt the air. Like, as far as the Ravens fans, it was like a home game for us. We were we were loud. We were excited. We were doing our chants. Um, when they were born, like we were, we were born with them. Like it was like more booze. We loved it. It was, it was our favorite chorus. <laughs> it's like one more of our booze. favorite songs, the boo song. But when that fourth quarter started happening and they started coming back and the Cowboys fans started talking again, that didn't feel good, bro. That, that PTSD, I felt it with the Miami game. I felt it with the Raiders game. I felt it with Steelers. Like, bro, I've seen that story way too many times and I, and I had a knot in my heart. I didn't feel good. I'm, I'm thankful that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy Lamar I didn't feel good. Man. That's so <laughs> we gotta stop this, bro, because it was no reason why we made it that hard on ourselves. 19 unanswered points is pitiful. We gotta yeah, you we gotta get a uh killer instinct. Yeah, you know what I equated to? I equated to like how the three change basketball. Like you used to have a 20 point lead in basketball, team one coming back. Team can erase a 20 point deficit in two and a half minutes now. Mm -hmm. um same in football you used to have a four two touchdown three touchdown lead the game's over you you just running the ball draining the clock but you, you can't play that way now like the game has just changed too much to 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 remain in those archaic ways that's just how i feel no you were you spitting um at this point y'all know the cause of the conservatism because it's on both sides of the ball i, I mentioned wink earlier you're on the third defensive coordinator at this point. What second offensive coordinator is the same thing in the fourth quarter. If there is a change, what is it? But it ain't even two offensive coordinators, Go, This predates them. When you think about yeah. it. It was a different – I'm just – and I don't want to say modern, but it was a different game back, you know, with Tressman and Cam Cameron and all of them. And you can like, I mean, you can you can call them type of conservative defense when you got Hall of Fame players like Reed and Ray Lewis. Yeah. You know, to Nick Point is going to be executed the right way. You're not going to give up a, a 18 yard stream pass down the middle of the field on first down and then give up and give up a 30 yard stream pass down the field. That's not going to happen. That's happening now. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know why you you know you 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 falling back like you said in that prevent defense. Like you don't got to blitz. You don't got to send extra three, but you can play a type of defense where you just not having free open spaces, people just running the spaces in the fourth quarter. Like, what, what, I, they trying to throw the ball. Why don't you not allow them to throw the ball? Like, don't – I think they doing things backwards. I think they trying to be too cute. And it's been John Harbaugh's motto. Like, you think he's smarter than everybody else. You're not. <laughs> yeah, nah, you've been stopping fun. them from throwing the ball the whole game. Now you're going to go into a pre where they can throw the ball. And actually... It doesn't make sense. Like, why not keep doing the thing that she was doing the whole game to stop? Why, why switch it? That like that that's that's just bad. I, I like that's why I like Detroit and Dan Campbell. They no matter what the score is in the game, they play the same. They don't go to no prevent, prevent defense or you know like that. They they gonna stay in the same defense they was in the whole type of game. That's like the Eagles. They are not going to no prevent defense. They are gonna play the same type of defense. Why switch it up at the end of the game when you've been playing well? It's been going well. The, you know the shots Generating are flowing. Pressure. The next thing you know, we all looking at the team like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, man. I, I was, was having day job I, 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 yesterday. Yeah, if Dallas had like one more minute, man. They had one more, like just one more minute. It it, it was going to be interesting. I was, I, be interesting. I was in the stadium uh, repeating Skull's Tomlinism to myself. I was like, "Damn, yeah, like we really <laughs> just down that on leg. our leg, yeah, man. <laughs> just got to just got to stay close to us, you know, just enough." Yo, no, but if you if it, my bad, Skull, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say, but no, if you look at the Raiders game last week in the fourth quarter, Ravens. Three possessions, punt it, three plays, punt it, three plays. Then they had the five plays at the end of the game where obviously it ended in a lateral where we didn't convert. Yesterday, after the Derrick Henry touchdown where they come out again, foot on the gas out the half, what do they do? Turn it over. They punt after eight plays, 17 yards. Next possession, Tucker misses the field goal. Next possession, three and out. You punt. And then the last possession is the end of the game where Lamar obviously throws it to Zay to convert the third down. Then uh, he gets the third down to win the game. But like they're not they're not moving the ball in the second half once they take their foot off the gas. We look like the best team in football 
for the first three quarters of foot. Like if, if football was a 45 minute game, give us the Lombardi for real. Yep. Luckily, give us so the Lombardi. Look at your if it was a 45 minute game, we hoisting it, Sco. But right when that last 15 minutes, for whatever reason, we get the yips, we turn into Chuck Knobloch. <laughs> Because that's what it feels like now. We got a lead in the fourth. What are the Ravens going to do now? Look at your phone, Keith. Yeah, because Lamar. I mean, Lamar Jackson called it out, man. And I, I'm starting to think he's uh, he's starting to get a lot more vocal with his displeasure with some of this stuff, um, especially like the consistent things that keep reoccurring. Like he's starting to say, you know what? He he used to be uh, uh, one of those players that made my publicly voice their displeasure he's starting to publicly just dis- voice displeasure he's starting to he's about to start putting pressure on the organization speaking of lamar putting pressure on people him and uh marlon had a little snaffle on the plane <laughs> you know what I mean? they got here for you <laughs> Got the dub. Got the dub. Keep stacking. Keep stacking. You shouldn't even arrive right now. Bro. We need to get right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, there you go. Walk the turkey. Yo, I'm tired of him. <laughs> I'm tired of him, yo. Your quarterback shouldn't have to say that. Yo, the look on his face was. It was. Real, but, what, what did he say? It was. It was messy. I can't even really understand. What did he say? Long story so, short, he said, "Why are you on this live right now? We should be locking in and focusing. <laughs> like, we didn't even play that well in the fourth quarter for you to be doing it. And then you got that reporter voice on, like Lamar, yes, sir. Tell me, like, yo, bro, he didn't even take him search. Down. Yes, sir. That's, that's what I really want to say. Shut dumb ass down and get that shit out of my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, "Yo, it's one win, yo." Then at the end, he like, "All right, cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, Lamar. <laughs> I like this new Lamar, though." The empowered Mace Lamar, the paid field, Lamar, man. like he's starting to he's starting to put his imprint on the team, and because he wasn't a vocal guy before, that was the, one of the only knocks against him is, uh, you know, he just wasn't vocal. They question, you know, uh, his vocal leadership. Now he's starting to say what needs to be said. I like it. Yeah, I mean, and he's he's playing like it too. Like I said, I, he's he's playing. This is taking I've over the him. team. This is the best I've seen him play, and he had, he has two MVPs. He's, he, he's playing really well. He's controlling the game. Who's not controlling the game? What are you going to do with uh, Mr. Justin Tucker? It's washed. This guy. Can't say I'm not happy. I couldn't <laughs> wait for this day to come. I'm sick of now, it. How about I say is a technical issue? Like <laughs> The first thing I thought of, don't you know at work when you got to change your password? Like, what do you need? password change? Like, what is that? Like, <laughs> 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 update the software? Yeah, I'll say you. <laughs> Is this password expired? Like, you need an app like, update. That shit crazy. <laughs> you can't make a 46 yard field goal. You got to get out the league, dog. Like, we could get somebody here that can make a 46 yard field goal. Let's be, let's be real about this. Like we we said last week, he's a Hall of Famer. We we said he has all pro, but you can get criticized. He sucks right now. Like he literally missed a 46 yard field goal. I've I've like that's crazy. So now we we talking about 50. Now we talking about plus 45 at this point. Like we, in the we, same we, game, we watched somebody hit from 65 though. Right, the same yeah. condition, same all that. So it's like now, this guy, like I, I don't know what it, I don't know what he mean, but that's that's saying that's basically saying like you, you know, he sucks, but we can't say he sucks. It's a technical issue because nobody can. Anything can be a technical issue. It literally falls under the scope of anything. You could say anything is a technical issue. Like what the hell is his technique is? What, what does it mean? He can't make a kick. Yeah, right. Like yeah. like Billy Pundit yeah. had a technical yeah. issue. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At this oh, point, man. it's between the ears. You got to think he got the leg. Like that, it's no question. Can he still kick the ball, power wise? But his accuracy is off. Yeah, and like that's a that's a problem when the last three games you think about it, his three it almost cost us again yesterday. Like it cost us possibly overtime last Listen, week. Man. I know we had the last like I two. Said, I know we had the win. I know we had with the win conditions in Buffalo, but that's when it started for me. I I I still can't get him missing off in Buffalo. I, I the, the other kicker was making kicks in, in in the rain and whatever the win. This guy ain't making ain't make no big kicks in years, none whatsoever. Yeah, Ravens Yo, fans. died in Detroit. <laughs> he sacrificed, that shit, sacrificed that the rest shit, of his that, career that for that shit. You know, yeah, you, know, he, you know how long he ain't been right. Then, that's karma. 
Since, 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 since Joe got beat up over Latrobe, the uh, backup kicker, who was going to take yeah. his job. Oh, Yo, he God. was in Latrobe? <laughs> yeah, the backup kicker. <laughs> in the back of the back, that's where they found the backup kick at. He was in the ditch out with Trump. Oh, and nobody, Latrobe. nobody was going to tell him, young man. That's you a long way from home, buddy. It's more to it's more to the story. We can't talk about it on air. Oh it's my more to god! The story. Yeah, I don't know what he was looking for, but hey, he's he over it. there. You know, Tucker, <laughs> he, 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 you know, Tucker think he divorced in the streets. Got that Royal Farms bag. Hey man, you somebody know, told him. Yeah. Yeah, all them commercials and like, yo, you a kicker, yo. Stay up there, man. I don't do they bird right like they used to. <laughs> Listen, man, sure don't. Listen, man, it, it kind of remind me like, kind of me like Clay Thompson. Like, you still got to respect the three. You still got to respect the fact that he's a known shooter, but it just don't hit the same. You know what I mean? When he put the ball on the floor, it just ain't the same. When he spot up, it's not the same amount of fear. You know, so when Justin Tucker trots out there, it ain't the same type of fear that he used to put in. It's it's a it's a coin flip whether he's gonna make the bitch now. Um yeah. and, and and before it was 50 yards and we were kind of safe within 50 yards. Now it's 45 and up, like he said. You know, everything's wide left or wide right. That is an issue. That is an issue. And the fact that we can't rely on three anymore, it's probably gonna start changing our play calling too. You know, it used to be something where we could, we know we could rely on the three. We can't rely on the three anymore. Yeah, I used to be able to kick field goals at Madden and NCAA. They changed it now. I can't kick. I'm going for it on fourth down every time. <laughs> hey, hey, Sco, but uh, yeah. real quick, uh, we had uh, what Lamar said about Harbaugh post game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run that. Coming out, Lamar, that you gathered the guys, you were the final voice coming out for second half, and your one word was finish, which has been a challenge. What did you learn here in these last three minutes? Man, the game not over until it's 0 0 on the clock. You know, uh, I don't like how things went to go on towards the end. You know, I felt like we should have put more points on the board. We should have just put the gas on the pedal when we was up uh, 28 6. But uh, we got dub, man. We just gonna regroup. Uh, very direct, very poignant. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You the CEO of the hey. When it goes bad, it goes. It's your fault. Hey, nah, it ain't gonna be my fault after too many of these uh, collapses. Just to no, your point, like, just, even his media presence is just getting is just it's just better. He sounds like just ready to just win. I guess at this point. So I just John Harbaugh, man, get rid of his ass. He said y'all was gonna be on on a live watch last night. I said, oh, Lamar. You gotta fail him. <laughs> I said, oh, Lamar. He was rolling. Don't stop. He, he, kn- he, he knew us. He knew us. He knows us too too well. Yeah. Man. Yeah. You gotta fail yeah. him, no scope. Because who they gonna blame on all these four letter sure. networks when on Monday? They're gonna blame it's Lamar because they didn't watch the game. They're gonna look in the stat box. Oh, he was 12 for 15 for 100 whatever yards. And that's mm-hmm. that's the narrative they're gonna run with. So it's all on Lamar. Like he yeah. Harbaugh not hearing no backlash. So Harbaugh, let's take our foot off the pedal. I, I don't got an answer to the media. What Munkin said a few weeks ago, y'all solved. That's all y'all got. Yeah, he definitely had tougher, <laughs> he definitely had tougher questions than Georgia. You know, I know he yeah. did. They ain't they don't play like, down there. On, man. So I feel Lamar, keep your foot on the pedal, man, because at the end of the day, he the one who got an answer for the offense when they put up 28 points in 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes, they look like a high school offense. Like he got an answer for that. So I feel him. We almost got Jacksonville Jaguar. You know what I mean? For like real? we we was the charges and shit. That, I was that, I was, I was frankly insanity, bro. I really we was. we don't want Brandon Staley. Uh, anything synonymous with Brandon Staley? Like, can you can you can we, can we get this under control? And and I needed it. Uh, you know, between like the alcohol and everything else going on, man, it was gonna be a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> rough yeah, night. I, I know how Pittsburgh went with us, so I was praying for your sanity. <laughs> and that walk I back to the car, nigga. That. <laughs> that yeah, and then you talk about you had to walk. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been seven, a seven mile walk back with an L on you. <laughs> Take me now. Now, now, now I, I would, I would have loved it. Like I would have loved I it. Like, I wanted, <laughs> like, I wanted you to go down mile. there. <laughs> like I wanted you to go down there and enjoy your, enjoy your time on Saturday. Enjoy your, you know. But Sunday at four thirty, I wanted that shit to be horrible for you. Bro. <laughs> it almost was. <laughs> but and, and it almost you happened. Us, it almost you should have picked. You us. know what? I'm watching that game. And I'm like, here I go, banking on Dallas to do something good for me. <laughs> when Dallas having this, so we scored touchdowns. We scored touchdowns. Like you should know that. Hey, y'all give up touchdowns too. That's what I was banking on. It was bad. It wasn't y'all. I thought it was gonna be a shootout that y'all lose. 
And it wasn't. I mean, me all of us can't. Here. All of us can't play hobble quarterbacks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Let's go to commercial break and talk about that. Because <laughs> I was waiting for it. Run it. All of us can't do that. Run it. Let's see the commercial now. Hit that button. When I want some sports news, Nitty Gritty is definitely who I'm tuning into, man. They show up each week with that uncut, that raw, that unfiltered sports news. They say the things that everyone else wishes that they can say, but they can't. Every Tuesday and Saturday, I am locked into my favorite sports show, Nitty Gritty. Nitty Gritty, the best show out right now. Tune in and listen, stupid. Come on back behind the curtain. Ain't no losses over behind this curtain. I got a question for y'all. What exactly is Gardner Minshew? <laughs> what Gardner Minshew got to do with this? Y'all need to play Gardner Minshew. You ain't hear what your boys just said before we went to commercial? What? We ain't playing bad quarterbacks. His coach yesterday is just talking about, yo, we thinking about a quarterback change a week after beating y'all. <laughs> That's so, only because they, they start making business decisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Pittsburgh defeated the Chargers in our home opener, 20 to 10. Justin Fields completed 25 passes, 245 yards and a touchdown, and he ran for one. Justin Herbert, before we put him out the game, was pretty efficient. He completed 12 passes for 125 yards in the first half. And then shit got ugly in the second half. So it's not that we played a bad quarterback. Justin was a, in there. He had a high ankle sprain coming into the game. Stop, Scro. He shouldn't have played. I don't give a Hey, hey, hey. That is not on go. me. There you go. That's not on me. That's not. The humble I could care less. The window. I could care less. Let me know, Scro. I could care less. You can hear it. You can hear it come back. He back. No, yeah. It was it was gradually coming on each week. Like each week, the first week he was humble, but then he was less humble last week. And now he like fuck that up. He, he took out. Nah, his, he like, <laughs> you know why? Because I was expecting y'all to come in here with this Eastern Stick shit. Like he started the game. He didn't start the game. Eastern Stick. Who's talking about Eastern Stick? That's the bad quarterback. I assume. That's the bad quarterback. It was like it was like wasn't Heineke in there? And Heineke, they was warming up Eastern Stick. So then Heineke, we ran through all of them. All okay. three of y'all. All three of y'all. <laughs> all three of y'all. <laughs> knock you out, knock you out, and boom. They put you in there for a dummy mission. Eastern <laughs> Stick, they don't like you. They say, Eastern Stick, go try a score. Go try a score on this defense. This defense that only gave up. They, we giving up eight points a game. Go try a win. With TJ rushing off the edge. Nick Herbig, who was a six-round pick. Who's better than Owe? Huh, see, now you now you doing too much. See how you see how you just now you just Nick Herbig. Nick Herbig, who in relief duty because <laughs> Alex Highsmith went out, heard is growing. You know what Nick Herbig did on his first play in the game? Strip sack on Justin Herbert. Not Heineke, not Easton Stick, the starter. Apple starter. Don't make him better. He made a good sit play. Sit down then. If you hobbled, <laughs> sit down. When when my, when I'm hobbled, I take a seat. All right, let me talk about the game a little bit. So this game started off, and I, I Justin Herbert was in a good groove. They were protecting him. We really didn't get a lot of pressure. They did a good job with Joe Alt. Uh, Joe Alt. He gave up. He almost gave up a sack, but he he held. That's what you're supposed to do. And then after that, Harbaugh right said. Harbaugh said, you know what? Let's get you some help. So they were sending tight ends, everything, chipping them. Justin Herbert was comfortable back there. And he was making throws for what we was giving him. It was holes in his own. And, and he found it. It led to a busted coverage. Um, don't know whose fault it was. Minka said it's his. It looked like it was Joey's, but the touchdown happened. But once that and, – and I was impressed because when I saw that touchdown, I said, oh, shit. How are we going to respond? Because this, this can't now be – because the way it was looking – it's like, all right, this can't be one of them field goal games. You got to respond with a touchdown. I, I like the way we drove up there. Justin ran it in with a, a, a nice play boot. I liked it, right? So it's 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 going. Nobody can run the ball. Nobody can run the ball, and I was expecting that. I, I was expecting it to be a turnover thing. Patrick Queen, you got to catch the ball, dog. 
<laughs> you got to catch the ball. You had a good game, too. Like, you was around the football. You was playing physical. You heard Renegade. You got your goosebumps. You got that out your system, but you got to catch the ball. Because that would have been a situation where that can come back and bite you in the ass if you don't complete these, you know. It was right there. It was like he ran – you ran the route for him. You got to catch the ball. But when it got 10-10, Steelers defense shut the – they closed the door on him. They closed the door on them. Second half come out, and they really ramped up the pressure. They blitzed more. They got to the quarterback more. It got to the point where Harbaugh had to make a decision. Herbert wanted to go back out there. But the way that that pass rush, yo, you got 15 more games. You do not need to put him. You do not <laughs> need to keep him out there. there. <laughs> you do not need to keep him out there in the line of fire because he's Mr. the tough. And don't get me wrong. Justin Herbert's a tough son of a bitch. He done played through a lot of injuries. But, yo, go sit down. Go sit down. You like, ain't got to be a toughie right now. Yeah, you ain't got to go be a tough man right now. Uh, <laughs> we could take this loss. It's only week three. It's cool, right? But what I like to see is unlike y'all, and I was expecting this. When you go up 13-10 in a game like this, they have a backup. They can't run the ball. We were converting on third and long. Passes down the middle of the field. And I'm going to show this play later. We connect on the 55 yarder to really make this game like, all right, nah. Justin played good. Justin played good. I think yesterday you can look at him and say, all right, you know what, Russ, you just stay over there. You just stay over there. If somebody in quarterback need calls, we're definitely going to pick up the phone. There's no reason to sit Justin at this point. He hasn't given you a reason. And at this point, you just wait until he does. And look, and, and he's playing confident. This is what a confident quarterback looks like. You're seeing it around the league. Sam Darnold looks confident, right? You're seeing with some good coaching and some talent because he, he was never devoid of talent. It was always between the ears with him. He was never devoid of talent. I like the way he was processing yesterday. He went through his he went through all his progressions, didn't play rushed. He didn't he didn't run. He didn't bail out the pocket. He only ran once. That's what I like to see. He played from the pocket yesterday and he played. Can well. I ask a question? Uh, absolutely. What's the difference? Like of when, what? When Kenny Pickett was winning games behind a great defense and a soft schedule. What was the difference between what you see offensively, other than obviously being able to make plays with on the ground and just being electric there and being a threat there? What was the real difference? Because the offense isn't like there's still there's still um work to be done offensively. And I'm not criticizing, I'm just asking, like seriously. No, it's valid. It's 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 work to be done, but it ain't from him. I'm gonna show you the pass chart. And that uh that the pass chart will answer that question perfectly. Because when you compare it and all those callers who call in and they start complaining because they can't get over that Kenny Pickett went to pit, because that's all it is. <laughs> they can't get over that he went to pit. Keith used to call him the prodigal son. I wanted him to work out because, hey, that's your first round pick. You want all your first round picks to work out. But he didn't. He's gone. Get over it. But you see plays on the field. Pat left one on the field. That was a dot that Justin threw. Pat, you got to play better. With the contract, you got to make those plays. George dropped one. Like, these are big plays. These weren't for short games. These were for 15-plus. The offense is moving. And it's a difference between Matt Canada, subtle differences. But this game showed a big difference between Matt Canada and Arthur Smith from a standpoint of Justin Justin Fields was eight for eight on the blitz. They knew the blitz was coming. How many times I came in here last year and told you, yo, Matt Canada straight up said we didn't even know they was running cover two. That's the difference. That's the difference. And that's, that's inexcusable. You can't be a coordinator and say, Oh, we practiced for cover two all week, and oh, shit, they came out in cover three. I don't know what to do now. They practiced for something. They anticipated it, and they knew what was going on, and they succeeded. I mean, y'all can talk about the quarterbacks. Cool, right? Justin Fields don't play defense. He don't play defense. And that defense coming into this game was ranked top five. Was ranked top five. Yeah, was it? Let's go. Let's go. They playing ball control. Okay. They, they just they were able to run the ball for two games, yo. They, they, and and then it, and then they couldn't. So then now what you gonna do? So now they, they I mean, just they, like they, y'all, just just like did, y'all, y'all they, they they got exposed and y'all time is coming. Don't you worry. On, we get seen the script before. We just we just seen the script before. Get exposed on defense. You see how Cam Hayward playing? 
Do you see how Cam Hayward's playing? That's why I can't. Season, that's why though. I can't say Justin huh? Fields. Justin Fields, like yo. Yeah. I mean, if you go into a game saying, yo, you only got to score certain about nine points. You good? We talking about week three. I can't talk about week fifteen and they here. I'm talking about week three. I'm talking yeah, about the game that happened yesterday. Right. Well, yeah, but they, you say he's playing right yesterday. now. Yeah, he is playing well, but it's you yeah. got to temper some temper the expectation a little bit. Defense is great though. I got to temper it for what? I talked about this before the season started. Because as far as the defense three, is concerned, and y'all haven't really. I mean, like I said, it's only been three episode four, and y'all right? and we we, 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 you, and you, we also talked about yo, for the season. Yo, that, yo, the, yo, the second part of y'all schedule averaging ten yards a carry. We not saying we not saying don't be excited about. No, we not saying don't be excited. Yards on the no, that's, that's, that's you got to temper the fact that you play, that you're going to play better teams down the stretch. You're going to yeah, play better teams down the stretch. That's what hey yo, and I'm looking at the outlook. Like I'm I'm watching that Dallas game. I'm like, all right, let's see what they got. Dallas ain't that good. We're not even talking about Dallas now. We talking. I'm just talking about the rest of the schedule. I'm never scared of y'all. Yo, I mean, you know who don't look good. You know who don't look. You know who also don't look great to me. The Eagles. Right? Oh, y'all beating Jalen Hurts? All right. I like it's, this. It's early. Like it's early. That's I way like early. It. That's like way it. early. But what I'm saying like is, this. I'm looking at these games with my four eyes like, yo, they not really. Your defense, man. Jalen Hurts. And that's the thing. I'm talking about the other <laughs> offense with my defense in mind, right? And if all confidence in Justin Fields, if he can answer adversity all right they scored let's go back and get one if he can do that with our defense i honestly think when it come down if it's a tie game in the fourth quarter and you gotta go aotj gonna make a play you know what he gonna do he gonna go make a play he gonna go make a play like it ain't no yo we up let's give up 19 points for the fuck of it <laughs> why you keep coming at us, yo? Like, what, what we do to you, bro? What we do to you, bro? Like, why, why you coming at us, yo? Everything. Why you not coming at us like that? Because I saw what Keith tried to do before I get to my time to shine. Yeah, we not <laughs> playing bad quarterbacks. Literally lost the one last week. <laughs> like, yo, what are we talking about? Nah, nah, hell no. Nah, I'm not going to allow that. I know we early. Who y'all, who y'all next week? Y'all at, at, in the, at the coach, right? Indy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try. Indy. And I'm saying it now. I need some interceptions. Minka, I need some interceptions for you, dog. Because Anthony Richardson is real generous with it. He generous with it. He going to give you an opportunity. And we're going to talk about it more on Friday. You got to watch out. He's explosive, but he's also going to give you opportunities. He's also going to give you opportunities. They can't stop the run. Um, But coming out this game, we got some injuries that I, I want to keep an eye on during the week. Uh. Jalen, your boy Jalen, he can't get right. It's one. It seemed like one of them years. He got, he got to get an MRI on his knee. Um, and Najee was around practice today with a sling on. So, I think if anybody had to go, I think Najee would go. But Jalen, it just seemed like one of them years. He got the injury in preseason. Now he's dealing with a knee. It just seemed like this is gonna be one of them hobbled years for him. I like the, I, I like the addition of Cordero Patterson. Though you saw what he could do yesterday. When the line is blocking and he closed, he helped close the game out. He was running with intensity and aggression, picking up first downs on the ground. So he might be a viable option. He's not to change the pace that Jalen is when he's healthy, but a first down is a first down. I want Jalen to get healthy because we'll Cordero. be better with all three. But Cordero, Cordero Patterson is yeah. He he is he is um capable, hundred percent. Yeah, he's a big guy, and he has success in Atlanta with Arthur Smith. Um, and he has experience being a I don't want to say a lead back, but like a one A in a in a timeshare. So he he definitely can uh, run in beside Najee or a little behind Najee. He definitely can do the job. But yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Why, this is why I say your boy's trash because now, first of all, first he's, he has split cards with Jalen. Now he's not even the fourth quarterback no more. That's no, Cordell no. Patterson now. He's no, 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 no. I can't Patterson let you say that. Game. Patterson finished that game. No, I he, Patterson who got was the getting last all the first one? Downs. They both, was, they both all... was doing it. Because who took that ball to the one? Patterson was made more effective. Who took the ball to the one, dragging the whole defense? The game was over. Brother Najee Harris. The game was over at that point. Game was over. The game was over. The game was over. Well, the game was over once we got to twenty. Like cut out Patterson. Really could have just I, cut the game I, what off. What I saw him do with. is, all right, they know who to get a ball to in that full court. You know, our defense is. You know, at this point, our defense is so good. When you get a ten point lead, go shoot to another game. We don't need to see this. It's over. You know how, like, I think they done did that a couple times with Kenny Pickett last year, like that 49ers game week one. Yo, hey, hey yo, CBS, <laughs> take take this off. <laughs> they done did that a couple times. Like, I, I, I've i had to live through that. So if you see me a little jubilant now, because, yeah, <laughs> you see what I had to live through? Like, Kenny Pickett was like Kyle Bowler. 
Like y'all wanted Kyle Bolo to be good, but it just wasn't gonna happen. You know, it just wasn't gonna happen. But I'm, I'm happy to get this dub. I'm happy to get this dub. I'm mad that Dallas didn't, because I would have loved to be up in the game. That would have been beautiful. <laughs> that would have been beautiful to me. But um, shout out to hey, but hey, hey, shout out to Justin Fields. That's that's all I gotta say, man. Like he's. He's doing what he got to do. When you get an opportunity like that, Russ came in. They all paused, said he had the pole position. He gets an injury. And what do you, as a backup, what do you do? You make it to the uh, coach. got to make a decision until it, the easy decision. All right, no, nah, we can't sit him down. It looked like the team is behind him. You hear you hear everybody on the offense saying how he has control of it and he's playing with confidence. Arthur Smith is talking about how it, he, he enjoys working with him throughout the week. You'd be a fool to put Russ in just because he's healthy. Not right now. Yeah, not That's right not now. not going to play it down in Pittsburgh, man. I'm not He's not. You, the way y'all schedule something up, y'all going to be, be 5-0 and o or some shit like that, the way y'all schedule looking. Russell, Russell Wilson not playing no games in Pittsburgh. I hope so. <laughs> I, hope, I hope so, right? <laughs> I, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. And I don't think he should. Yeah, I, I don't think he should. Justin hasn't given a reason to say, yo, we got to sit you down. We got to sit you Pluto. down. I like that mixtape too. They need to be playing it. I like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. The Steelers, uh, every time Justin uh, Fields come out, they start playing Future. Some shit. Stop playing March. We Madness. don't want Russ. <laughs> we don't want you. Yeah, bro. stop playing March Madness. Only if Pittsburgh was cultured in that way to do it. Like if it was a like if it was like Atlanta or some shit. Like yeah, they would do that. They they would do that. But I, I'm not gonna say. I'm pleasantly surprised just off the strip because it's not. He's not even making. He had one turnover yesterday, but. Cordero could have had better hands and it turned into a tip drill. But he's staying away from the play, the turnover plays. He's he's just not even throwing it to him. So salute to him. That's all I can ask for at this point. Just play a clean brand of football because I know I'm talking a lot of shit now, but with all seriousness, with that defense, just don't make mistakes. Don't make mistakes and you'll stay in the game. Who's your who you play next week? Indy. Play the Colts. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah, yeah they yeah, at Indy. Then they home first Dallas on Sunday night football. Then Come they go to back. Vegas. Then Come they home first back. the Jets and the Giants. That's their next five games. Come on, yo. What we talking about? What we talking about? Right? What we talking about? Eight and two score and shit. Like, Can we right? talk about it? It's going to be fine. <laughs> this ship is this ship is not. Listen, bro. And we then you talking. All right. Let's talk. Because we really didn't. Because we took a break. In the summer. So we really didn't even talk about the divisions and all of that. But if you are an avid listener and viewer on YouTube, you know how I feel about us in the North, regardless of how everybody else played out. Yeah, we'll lose to the Patriots. Fine. Yeah, we'll lose to the Cardinals. Fine. But if you line me up across a Brown or a Bengal or a Raven, we smacking them up. <laughs> Yo, you Smack are goofy. That threat got him feeling real good. Hey, he looked, he, looked, no, 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 he, no, no, no. he took one look at that schedule. He took, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the yeah. we got the Colts, the Cowboys, and he said, "Oh yeah, I'm on my I'm back on my bully shit." Only because yeah. I had to he proceed humble, with caution. Yeah. I had to proceed with caution, <laughs> and it's still a little early, but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna I told lie. you, let him play the 50. Yeah. Justin Fields has my confidence right now. He does. He does. He has my confidence right now. So I remember the feeling of having a quarterback that you believe in. I remember that. It wasn't that long ago. I, I, I do remember. So if you telling me that, all right, you look at it from the beginning, yo, that, yo, that schedule's tough. That schedule's hell. Damn. Wow. But you telling me that this defense is going to be flying around giving hell? Tobacco uh, go- Say that again. What happened? I didn't say nothing. I was hot. Oh, I thought it was hot. Uh, I thought it was <laughs> Oh, you Usher? You Usher? Salute. Yeah, I had to delete all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the fast yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the schedule. Damn, that looks tough. You give me, all right, if you give me good quarterback play, I'm not going to say great. I'm not going to say all. You give me good quarterback play with that defense, and you look at the landscape, and these teams ain't panning out how you think they are. And then you telling me when hard knocks comes, when AFC North time come, and I gotta I gotta look at Deshaun Watson. Y'all know Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. Bengals could be Bengals tough. Hey Joe Burrow, if he healthy, you know, y'all. 
Right. And then you sprinkle in the Eagles and the Chiefs. I got a hey, come on. Come on. You thinking you thinking week three is rough. Don't let me get in. Don't let me get near Christmas and we are way above 500. Jeez, I'm looking at that. you. We already experienced that before. I, I, I'm used to that. What's way about? No, no, no. We've seen it before. before uh, we've it's seen it before. before. You know why though? Uh, this not you know why it's gonna be different because we not the the husk the husk of Ben and Randy Fitner. Remember you him? You ain't care then. Yo, you ain't care about that then. And we told no, you that. I, no, 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 no. Off no, the mic. <laughs> no, off the mic, it was a little wild. Off the mic, it was a little wild because I, I really didn't like rookie Chase Young getting in front of the world saying, yo, we knew what they was doing. I ain't like that. I ain't like that. And he, like, called it out. And then y'all made us wait eight weeks to play a game on Wednesday because of COVID. And we couldn't score against uh, – Who three was that? Games who, and 10 who was days that? stuff. Who was that? RG? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. They really had us playing. So hypothetically speaking, what you think, looking at your schedule right now, what what do you think y'all reckon it finishes like? Oh, nah. How many more? Be... Yeah, he going he to say about 14 and 3. And no, gonna... hell no. <laughs> I was, that's what I was 11. thinking he was going to say, too. No, 11. <laughs> 11. Let's go. Y'all, only, y'all already got three. We really just got three wins. And y'all, and y'all next three. I'm hedging my bet, and I'm saying 11. You're not making me. You're not moving me <laughs> off that. Oh, see, you right. He buy low and sell yeah, high. I told you. Because I now he's going to say, he, he going to say, he going to say, when they, when they get the 14 wins, he'll come back and say, see, only said 11. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, hey, you. you pretty good, Sco. Yeah. You pretty Yo, good. Great. You know, I, I said 10 you, before. Man. I said 10 not even knowing what Justin Fields was going to be. If he stays consistent, then yeah, add one. <laughs> 11 days. You know, that way, don't ever say to, I'm not you're, humble. You're on your way to 13, 14 wins. Don't you know, ever say, say I'm not humble. I, I predicted 11. I, I was humble the whole season. I was humble the whole season. I was humble the whole season. I only gave 11 wins. I'm going to sound like yo, but I was yo, y'all are like perennial like Super Bowl favorites. No, we're not. Yo, what are you talking about? Yes, you are. The world picks y'all every year. You have Lamar. That's two MVPs. <laughs> Y'all are perennial Super Bowl favorite. No, we're not. Y'all want to be underdogs. That's y'all problem. Y'all as a franchise, as a city, as a city, this is an underdog city, right? Y'all not used to being favorites, and it kills y'all. It hurt. It hurts. Y'all Even feel like quarter. y'all would be better. Yeah, that's the thing. Y'all going to fourth quarter favorite now. Yeah, it's bad. Y'all want to be underdogs. Y'all would probably rather be losing in the fourth quarter, down three. <laughs> <Where> we play. <laughs> <laughs> y'all would probably rather be down three. Oh man. Oh man, Anthony Richardson, eat your Wheaties. All right. Oh. Eat your Wheaties. For the sake of the show, because I'm sure they want me to be a little quiet next Monday. <laughs> I'm sure. Have your best games, young know, man. All right, let me get to that. Let, let me pull the score up of that Chiefs Atlanta game. 22 17. Chiefs go down to Atlanta, come out with a win. Patrick Mahomes, 26 completions, 217 yards. Two touchdowns and his annual pick to Justin Simmons. Kirk Cousins, 20 completions, 230 yards, touchdown in a pick. Yeah, y'all got to touch up. I, I was. Y'all was hurt? By Sunday night football, Sunday football was watching me. I mean, and I ain't even <laughs> get around to the highlights today. I, I, I mean, I watched a little bit of highlights. I saw they were saying they were talking about the pass in the front and whatever, and the Chiefs won another close game. But other than that, I ain't see too much of this. I was I was locked in on it. I mean, listen, man, Atlanta. I will I'll say shortly and, and briefly. Atlanta, they're going to be a good team. I think Raheem Morris has uh, got them believing in themselves and believing they can compete against any team on any given Sunday. And I think that belief started last week with that comeback win. And this was a game that they probably should have won, especially uh, uh it's just you know the Kansas City defense got tight on fourth down, right? So uh, they had to drive. They went through the fourth quarter that uh, was stalled in the red zone uh, because the Chiefs got stingy on fourth down. And then on the last possession of the game, another situation where the defense tightened up and got stingy towards the end. So that was two scoring opportunities um, in deep in Chiefs territory that the Falcons just weren't able to convert on. Uh, But they put a lot of pressure on Kansas City. And, yeah, the referees, it did get kind of out of hand with that pass interference that was cause for one of the stops was the pass mm-hmm. interference that wasn't called on third down um and then they had to go forward and forth and didn't get it to an incomplete pass to drake london so um you know and then they're gonna have to figure out atlanta has gonna have to figure out how they want to be short yardage um is Bijan that guy in short yardage seems like every time they have a big short yardage play they hand the ball off to him and 
it, it doesn't work out in their favor. They're going to have to be more creative than, you know, just trying to run him up the gut. Um, especially, you know, when everybody in the stadium knows that they like to run the ball and, you know, Bijan is a prize uh, player. So other than that, though, I think Atlanta, they have a lot to be excited about down there. I think it, Raheem Morris, he's definitely changed the the aura of the team and they believe and 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 Kurt Cousins, you know, coming back from week one where, you know, the schedule maker said, hey, first game back from Achilles, go go play against TJ Watt and see how and test that Achilles out. Um, ever since then, though, he's he's looked like a, a real quarterback. So let's go for that. And Drake London, you know, he's starting to emerge, you know. So we'll see how the Falcons um, uh, play throughout the season. Yeah, you talk about Drake London, the same emergence of Rasheed Rice, 12 receptions yesterday, 410 Ooh. yards. He looking like he uh, he's a real factor for that offense. Him and Mahomes look to be in sync. Um, I know a lot of people are drinking a Xavier Worthy Kool-Aid after week one. Um, that relationship seems to have cooled off over the last two weeks. It'll heat back up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Rasheed Rice and Mahomes, they are they tuned in right now, and it's – they dangerous. It's They're not even throwing the ball to Kelsey right now. I mean, four receptions for 30 yards yesterday. But 69 like I, yards in three weeks. Yeah. Like I say all the time, that Chiefs defense opportunistic. Like, they they just – they they make the stops when they need to make stops. And, like, sometimes they get a little bit of help, but – I don't like to bring the zebras into it. Like they, they, they won the game yesterday. Yeah. They got to, they hit Kirk Cousins ten times yesterday. Like and he getting up from the hits and he, he's still making throws. So like Nick alluded to, he's getting more comfortable as the weeks progress. I think that'll only help Atlanta's offense because they Atlanta playing good defense too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, and the thing about the Chiefs too, man, uh, Kelsey. I don't know if it's him being washed because i don't think he just fell off the face of the planet you know he was still effective last year but is it part of it just trying to conserve and being bored at this part of your career and just want to just fast forward to the playoffs um i i think they're going to have to figure out a way to get him back rolling he don't even look the same like aesthetically like he he doesn't even look like travis kelsey out there on that field with that new haircut and the and the and the mustache it seems like all the Taylor Swift, all the newfound celebrity that he's had, I don't mix with the on field result. <laughs> yeah, he got to get back to his roots. Go get a buzz cut. Go back to the black barber and yeah. figure it out, bro. And and another thing, when you make when you make millions and millions of dollars, talk behind a microphone, and you ain't got to get hit by nobody. You ain't got block. <laughs> I ain't got block. I ain't got to get hit by nobody. They ain't going for my knees, hit me in my head. You start that. I'm sure he's thinking about that. Like, yo, it, yo my brother is having a blast. Look at what he's Bobby Brown. Like, I went from my prerogative to my wife just being the biggest star on the planet. I don't yeah. want to do this. No, I, yeah, I just, I just yeah my to... brother's becoming a star. Jason Kelsey's I'm everywhere. Cool. I'm cool with watching the concerts from the background. You know who but used to be a star? Like, Jay Z used to be a star. He'd be at the Beyonce concerts just bobbing. Like, it's growing his hair now. Like everybody <laughs> gets a rich wife and just get a new hairstyle. Like hey, I'm I, I feel, I feel, I feel. But but in all seriousness, I mean, we, you, you, <laughs> in all seriousness, though, when you uh, they also going for a three peat this year. So I know at some point the regular season becomes mundane. Like you, and that's yeah. part of the grind of a three peat is trying to just grind through it and deal with the. It feel like they just the game's unimportant because you didn't play in Super Bowls, you didn't play in the AFC title games. But right, I right, mean, these right. games matter and they build cohesion towards the end of the season. But I think he, I'm ho- I'm thinking he's just in some sort of funk like that. But when your lady make worth a billion dollars, keep keep to wrap this up. That was actually a great point because we talked about last year how they didn't have vertical threats, so they d- dinked and dunked all season. It just seems like they're adding tools on their toolbox as their dynasty grows. Yeah. Like they're just trying to find new ways to win. How can we find a new way to win a yeah. football game? All right. So we don't even throw the Kelsey no more. We don't have our starting running back. Rasheed Rice, yeah. you're the guy to, now. And to that point, they might be saving Xavier Worthy. We ain't giving y'all no looks on him. Yeah, no, yeah. We know what we're going to do in January with him. And his speed is going to – his speed ain't changing. Yeah. yeah. Change. No unnecessary yeah. hits. We'll keep you involved in the game. And they just but, building and they just building rice up. So rice by the time yep. he's gonna just be it's unbelievable. He's gonna be no yeah. he know he's gonna be he's a, he's gonna be the bona fide number one, all the confidence he need now. 
Because even the running back, what is Carson still? They bring Sunshine in yesterday. He goes 17 carries. Yeah, Sunshine. Yo, Sunshine. Call him Sunshine. Crazy. But shout out to the Giants. Shout out to the Chiefs. And shout out to the Falcons for playing good and just making that week one win that we got a little more better. Let's go to top place. Uh, Shit! Did you see that? So Justin Fields dropped back it was seven minutes in the fourth quarter. You want to see Calvin Austin? And then you're not. 55 yards to the house. That doesn't happen in this offense a lot. So that's why this is my top play. Because it used to happen a lot in the in the yesteryears with Ben and A B. So who so Ron after talk, Cats? You're, so you're not talking about the play. You are just talking about the play, not the you need the player. Play. Just the play. The play. The play. That that warmed my heart yesterday. I said, Oh shit. Haven't seen that in years. Haven't seen that in years. Matter of fact, I saw it last year, but it was from Mason. Shout out to Mason Rudolph. But from a start from a starting quarterback to make that play. <laughs> That was on Calvin though, bro. Get that, get that. No, nah, nah, and and I, I I highlighted this play because I've been tough on Calvin. I need Calvin to make those plays because it's not a lot around Joy. So the fact and and that that speed, which is why we drafted him, but the fact that Arthur Smith knew, hey, they're gonna be eyes are gonna be on George. This is gonna be on you. It was a good throw by Justin too, because if he was gonna be a little late on that, that safety would have took that shit to the house. So, but. Big time play by Calvin Austin, turning them jets on and, and, and pulling away from the defense. Salute. Keys. Your top play. Yeah, I, I got the to me, you know, so far the, the best rookie wide receiver in the league right now. Oh my God. Mm. This guy's yeah. amazing. Um, yeah, he is. That that you could talk about that that Tony Toe tap touch right there, but even on the sideline, he took it off of Denzel Ward, Denzel Ward helmet was even crazier. Um shout out to the Giants. They, you know, they ball. I think one of the better coaches in the league, unfortunately, to be stuck with Daniel Jones, but he finds a way to get his best players the ball, whether it's out of the backfield, slants, don't know that. Neighbors gets receptions, talk, he gets in the ball, he's showing. Neighbors is, he's, he's going to be going to the ones. Like I said, Marvin has some journey, of course, one of the ones, but Neighbors, man, that this catch right here was crazy. Neighbors think I'm right. selling dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. This, this, this catch right here, that catch right here was crazy, man. But he made all, all, all types of crazy plays this whole game. So, um, yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out. Back to back weeks for him too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Back two touchdowns, back to back weeks. He he's producing. Um, and sometimes it take a great receiver to save somebody. He, he looked like he's saving Daniel Jones a little bit. I don't know, but we we're gonna see if they can keep it going. But that's a hell of a win for them because I I definitely thought they was going. They was heading for Owen, whatever. So that's a that's a big win for them. I got to stop putting the sauce on you the Browns. Me. Gotta put stop. Gotta stop putting sauce on them Browns because that quarterback is who he is. Right, like yeah. Yeah, but shout out to neighbors on man. He, that was, Salute. Crazy. Salute. Let's go man. getting all his shots on the AFC North. <laughs> yeah, I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> Nick, your top play. Uh, I had my boy Kyron Williams out there in LA. I thought this was a hell of a play, hell of an effort, hell of a throw, too. Mm-hmm. Flipping in the end zone. You don't see that too often, you know, just not even worrying about what could happen as far as injury or whatnot, just making a play for your team and doing what, what needs to be done. And then front flipping into the end zone over a play is crazy. Mm-hmm. Don't choice, yeah. choice for us if they got in the damn offense. It's crazy, man. Don't run back. Choice routes is deadly. Mm-hmm. I wish, listen, one thing uh, random, yo, I hate the fact, I hate the way we utilize a flowers. Like Sko was talking about, uh, and you guys were talking Me about day ball and how they how they get their best players the best ball. I hate the way we use a flowers, yo. Like those wide receiver screens are ridiculous, but my bad. Salute to Matt Canada. <laughs> yo, let's go to you before you but to your point. I mean, I was watching game Q yesterday. We watched this again. I was like, yo, why does the Chargers offense look like this? Why is everything I need? He's like, nigga, they got Greg Roman. And I was like, it makes all <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Like Justin yeah, Fields, like Justin Fields got 115 yeah. yards. Like this is this is definitely great with offense. Y'all. They don't throw the ball down the field. They don't throw the ball. everything is underneath, and they just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. I was, like, Yo. I, was I was really trying to figure out why it looked so familiar to me. And, and, and we done, and that Greg and Roman is that the Herbie, he, Herbie, right? Herbie, Herbie, Herbie got a big arm. Like that's what he known for the downfield ball. Like know, we, know, have, seen we have seen this before. We have seen this before. But you know, Josh Palmer was hurt. They really, they really ain't had nobody that could really. So it's been like, it's, it looked like that's by design. They didn't want wide receivers. Like, yeah, I know. They got I don't know why. Oh, y'all, coordinator <laughs> for Herbert. It's just so weird. 
I drafted they Lad McConkey so he could beat uh, underneath. They suspended Derwin James for that hit on um Pat. Where? One game. Mm-hmm. I mean that that not hit for the hit, but he said they Jay- said for they said for repeated violations. For the one on Jalen or because no, he had the a couple. Pat, the one on Pat. Oh, the one on Pat. Oh, okay, yeah, across yeah, the middle. He, so yeah, he led with the crown. I'm, I'm just glad Pat got up. I was worried. I said, "Oh shit!" Did y'all see that, Brandon? Did y'all see that hit on Devonte Smith? Oh, that was ooh, that was scary. That was scary. That's a little guy. You don't want to see nobody. You don't want to see nobody get. That was scary. Keith, your top player. Um, I'm going to the Mile High City. Jaleel McLaughlin. Oh, yeah. oh give yeah. me the yeah. ankles, son. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Give me those. Eighty-eight. Give me you mad? Too. Hey. Look at him. You too big to add a number anyway. Yeah. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's, that's, ooh. That's not an 88. <laughs> Nigga, you, he look like Gronk. <laughs> yeah, he do look like Gronk. 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a question. I got a question. I got a question for the host. Y'all like Todd Bowles? Wait, what's, what's the, yeah. the punchline, Scott? Do y'all like Todd Bowles and his defense? Oh, cause y'all I, played I the, y'all played the y'all y'all played Bo Nix last week. I got you. See, see, I I, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be honest, I was shocked that they played like that. Cause I'm like a rookie quarterback. I'm thinking they were going dial it, dial it up. But yeah, you Bo know what Nix it is. Came in there to play him and Sean Payton. <laughs> you know what just it saying. is, yo. Uh, I was reading the stat. Yo, they don't even got betting in Texas. That is crazy, criminal, criminal. But I was reading and the stat. No and corn and no betting. Nigga, I was I was in hell yesterday. I was, yeah, I was California trying to, like I was trying to figure some shit out, but uh, should have hit you, Keith. I forgot. But anyway, um, I, say, yeah, I was drunk. Hit, that's <clears throat> but um, what was I getting at, Scott? You was reading the stat. Oh, I was reading the stat about Baker Mayfield uh, when he's favored in games. He, I, I think, in his career, I forgot what the record is, but it's it's, it's not good at all. So when you're talking about uh, us not being good as like. That's yep. Baker Mayfield as well. Yep. He has to be a dog. He has to be like the person yeah. that you're not expecting to do something. Because when you when you give him expectations, nope. I just wanted to ask. I just wanted to ask because I still ain't forget what Keith said about the bad quarterbacks. Maybe we just make them look bad. Maybe. No, it's cool. I'll give it to you. I mean, anytime you got TJ Watt coming off the edge, I mean, it don't it don't get no better than that in the NFL. So we'll, we'll have yeah, our day, Scott. I mean, we'll have our day, Keith. Don't worry. No, I can't. Yeah, you'll be able to say that about Owe one day. Yo, the like what I say, Keith. Okay. I say the fu- the fump the, the, the oh, strip sack is coming. The fumble's coming. Like it was it was a typical game. Like y'all win the same way every week, which is why I always yeah. exes it. It kills me. Nah, it just exes it. Is, every it, time is, I it do. is it Justin like these are part of me die? <laughs> Kenny Pickett wins these games too. He don't care. Three and oh. And he don't care. Kenny Pickett throws that slant to Calvin Austin too. No, he doesn't. He throws it behind him. He doesn't, and it's plenty of proof. It's plenty of proof. Miles Ask Deontay Johnson, Johnson where he was throwing that shit at. And salute to Deontay Johnson. You playing good up there. You, hey, look what happens when you get a quarterback. We'll talk about that in the takeaways in a little bit. But, hey, shout out to you. But, no, nah, Kenny Pickett used to throw to, like, empty spaces. It used to be no no, no defenders, no receivers, nothing. Just chalk on the field in numbers. All right, salute to Kenny Pickett. Stop. Hey, yo, yo, can, can we make a pack? Can we not bring him up on here? No, nah, because you still love him. I, saying, I did not love him. Yes, I tell you is. who, hey, we here. We here. We are at the... Am I supposed to go... Let, let me look at this shit. Let, let me look at this shit. Hold on. Am I supposed to go to a commercial break, Keith? No. Uh, we all no. The biggest, yeah, takeaways. Uh, takeaways. Malik Willis, salute to you, man. <laughs> that's all you say about us. <laughs> Salute. Look what good coaching to do. That's, that's true. All. That's true. I, 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 Scott got his agendas, man. I like it. He Salute. Come here, you hey, he, 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 he tricky. He tricky. <laughs> Salute, dog. You looked good under a coach who coaches offense. Now I'm not even gonna say that. Hey, if we drag Matt Cannon wouldn't have did a fucking thing with him. So I'm not even gonna sit here and act like. But I do like to see him succeed. Cause it looked like he was just about to be a career backup. The way he's playing now, he might, he he might. I don't want to say trick, but he might have somebody. Hey, yo, in the off season, let's bring you in, see if you can be a starter. I mean, I think Antonio Pierce would take him right now over that situation he got in Vegas. Yeah, 
I'm sure Devontae Adams would love it. From Antonio Pierce, yo, give me a draft pick. I'm drafting. Send me Russell Wilson. <laughs> For Devontae Great. Adams, absolutely. You can have Send me Devontae Adams. I want Devontae Adams. I'm monitoring <laughs> that close. Close. You hear me? You hear me? I'm monitoring that close. Are you yeah. happy? My biggest takeaway is, you know, they ain't play, they ain't have their starting quarterback already a quarterback, but um, Mike Benagy with number three and no. The Dolphins ain't a quarterback, but he got them boys three and no. They look good defensively. They run the ball. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably my biggest takeaway from from the weekend uh, from what I can see. And then I mean, take it to college, JMU. They look good, man. That James Madison day, they blew out North Carolina so bad. You wouldn't know yeah, if that was a, a, a upset in basketball or right. upset in football. They 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 got it's on just them. upset. <laughs> they got on them quick. Fifty points in one half is crazy. Facts. Listen, I got I got a couple takeaways. Uh, Vikings quickly, that defense, that performance that they had yesterday, and Sam Darnold doing what he's been doing, turning around his career. Uh, you love to see it. Shout out to Aaron Jones too. Um, the Jets. Uh, Aaron Rodgers had his best game of the season. He turned back the hands of time. You know, to, to be 40 years old throwing the ball like that, that arm is still lively. He reminds me of Brett Favre in that regard. Like, I think they could quarterback him, Brett Favre, Tom Brady, one of the few uh, quarterbacks that probably could play into their 50 if they wanted to. It just depends on, you know, do you like to practice? Do you like to take hits? But that arm ain't going nowhere. And now he's trusting his legs. Um, so, you know, he's getting back to feeling like himself. So that's that's going to be uh, interesting to see how that progresses in the AFC going forward. And then also – uh, Skull mentioned it already, but uh, that Panthers win was convincing. You know, Andy Dalton threw for 319 and three touchdowns. He showed Bryce Young, like, yo, this is how you actually throw a fucking football. Like, yo, Deontay Johnson, 14 targets, eight catches, 122 yards, and a tutty. Like, it ain't that hard, brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you got when Andy Dalton's coming there. off the bench doing that, you see that yeah, there's a clear that's issue. a big indictment. That's that, that's what I was saying. Ooh. Like, that's the worst thing that Bryce needed was for that to happen. And Twitter tried to Twitter. You know, casual fans will always try to blame it on the environment. Oh, the Panthers organization sucks. It, the owner sucks. It does. It does. It yeah. does. Two things can be true here. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's, yo, they, like I said last week, they spent $150 million on the old line. Like, they are, they are trying to give Bryce Young everything he needs. A young coach that can scheme with the best of them. Wide receivers. Uh, they drafted a running back who was going to be coming back in a couple weeks off of IR. So they put the pieces in place. And then when you see Andy Dalton come off, off the bench and says, yo, this is how we envisioned it in the offseason. This is how this is supposed to look with a second-year quarterback supposedly supposed to evolve and grow and, and get better as his career goes on and not worse. We got to stop blaming everybody else. And sometimes we just got to look at the individual and be like, yo, you need to play better. As simple as that. Mm-hmm. You're not that good. So, yeah, sorry. I'm about to say that leads me to my biggest takeaway: uh, rookie quarterbacks. I mean, it took three weeks for the rookie QB class to get their first touchdown pass. Caleb Williams yesterday, and he still doesn't look very convincing at all. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you just alluded to Bryce Young. I mean, a lot of these rookie guys, they coming in, getting thrown into the fire. They 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 probably need to get red shirted. Like, it's, these guys aren't as good as team like as as people are saying they are. And the more I watch Caleb Williams, people can blame that line all they want, but he's just making some bad throws too. Um, and what's, I mean, Tom Brady said it best. He got he was on something, but he was like, you know, back in the day, rookie quarterbacks just sit for a year or two. Like, you know, like it, it's nothing wrong with sitting yeah. behind somebody and learning the job. Now they just thrown into five because they're top pick. And to key points, everybody point and to everybody watch it, they suck. Yeah. Brady took it back to college. <laughs> yeah, like Brady, Brady took yeah. it back to being in a pro style offense in college. Yeah. Sitting in meetings, learning how to read Yo, the defense. He didn't he wasn't games. under center at USC. Yeah. They they everything is shotgun. Like that's yeah. it. it's I think you're just I, not gonna think you're gonna come in and pat Mahomes. Like we gotta stop throwing Pat Mahomes name out there. Like that's that's that's, that's where I'm at with it, Keith. I yeah, think uh, with him maybe sitting him just to force some humility on him to, to make him realize, bro, you cannot just step in and be Mahomes. Mahomes earned, I want to say earned his last name, but he earned the respect that he's given. You know what I mean? You can't just come in and say, I'm going to be Mahomes. Or if you have a bad game, that's never going to happen again, bro. It's happening every week. Yeah. You play better. This you show flashes of brilliance. You show why 
people are in love with the prospect, but your attitude, the way you approach the game, he needs a little humility. I think he's starting to see like the NFL ain't the ain't the college, and then in college you were doing some wild shit that that yeah. that wasn't yeah. working there. And I don't even yeah. know if this quote was real, but when he found out that he threw it fifty two times, he was excited. I'm going to keep slinging it around. Dog, if you were throwing it 52 times, your team is probably not winning. Yeah, not winning. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? He don't get it, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I just want to sling it around the yard. Well, go home in your backyard and sling it around there. Pause. But That's not how you, you look. Yo, when Ben used to throw it 60 times, that was never good. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does it. But when you Nobody. look at the landscape as a whole, score, I look at Bo Nix. Don't look good. Yeah. I look at Will Lavis in his second year. Another young oh, guy. No. Don't look good. Bryce Young. We know what that is. Like it's we gotta they gotta stop hyping these guys up. Listen, like it's it's not when you threw Lamar into the fire, Justin Herbert. These guys are coming in throwing 15, 20 touchdowns. Like I know when I start Tampa Bay defense, Bo Nix wanna look like an all-star. Like that's yeah, that blew me. Up. I thought I was throwing something. <laughs> yeah, well, I was. They I end was up with like minus sick. one. Sick. Oh, and the bet. Oh, I, I couldn't even place the bet. I know my man's. Uh, he had a a Bengals money line bet and a Bucks money line parlay, and he put big oh, the, money on it. The Bucks were the Bucks between between the Bucks and the Browns. Everybody took was wrong. Yeah. You know, last week me and Nick said and that, the Raiders. Uh, yeah, but Derek Carr. Derek Carr. <laughs> he, he messed my ticket all up. I have that, that was a defensive battle. I ain't going. I ain't it gonna, was. I wasn't expecting that. Jalen ain't do shit either. No, Jalen. That, that was that was that was a great game. More turnovers from Jalen. He turns the ball over a lot. The quarterback playing general outside of your, your it's like going forward. It's gonna be hard to even make a top ten because once you get past five, it's like yo, we just throwing names in there to be throwing them in there. It's, it's, really, it's really like three. Or, like three or, it's like three or four at this point in the yeah. game. Yeah, right Josh like, Allen, Lamar, yo, Pat. Quarterback play has been so bad. Yeah. You got people on ESPN saying we should get get rid of cover two. Cover like, two. Yeah. like what did we talk? What? And they did serious too. He yo, yo he, 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 he went to Calvary Hall. He don't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Kyrie went to Calvary Hall. He don't know no better. You was right about Kendrick Green, but you are wrong about this, buddy. <laughs> You just want okay, everybody to know. play man? No. When they let us start letting Milk Hype talk about actual football, you don't stick to, which, stick to just identifying these players. Yeah, why are you even on TV? <laughs> College just started. Well, I don't need to see you. Right. <laughs> it's not we'll even see draft off, prospect we'll see time. you next offseason, dude. Yeah. Go on vacation. <laughs> Give me a this trade deadline real. update as well, man. Yeah, for real. But yeah, man. Um, I like this show. Good man. Week, man. I like good it. Week. I like it. It was a good week. Good week. Let's go to the last commercial break. Nitty gritty. Hey, yo, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk is now on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And while you at it, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Name the same across all platforms. Nitty Gritty Sports Talk. Three Ravens and a Steeler. Now let's get back to the show. Again, good show, fellas. Good yo, show. Yo, let's go. Yes, sir. Real quick before we get out of here. I just want to, Travis Hunter, yo. He's a dog. He's a dog. Yo, the he's kid special. is serious. He's like um, to do that on both sides like that, the kid is real special. I just he's wanted to shout nice. him out because he had a and, he had a hell of a game. Then the thing about him side by yourself, like yeah. He's, he's making play. plays when they matter too. Mm-hmm. On both like you said, on both sides. Like he's making plays that matter on offense and forcing fumbles on defense. Yo, at this point, I was talking about this at work. Cam Ward and him, I, I was it gotta be one two for the Heisman. I can't see nobody else playing better than them. Two. Cam Ward pointing right at the gap they was running at. He a dog too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, man, that that's six, that six yeah. and a half, man. I need y'all cover that. Good job, man. Yeah, shout out to them. The all ticket yeah, hit. <laughs> Cam Ward's looking crazy right now. I don't know what uh class Tennessee's quarterback is. He's yeah, young. He right? look good too, man. But I got he goes see, young, the, thing, right? the thing about Tennessee is that it, it's not October yet, and they usually fall apart when October comes. So we gotta see when they get cold. They want to change that fall apart. Play play man. Uh, but uh that quarterback play, and it's looking like Cam Ward running away with that Heisman. And looking like he's gonna be the number one pick, too. Yeah, Miami look good, but what but don't but but what's name got them boys playing? Dabble and them got the boys playing well again, man. Clemson gonna be a problem, ECC. Yeah, uh, uh what's his name? K Klubik. Yeah, they playing well. Yeah, they playing well. I mean, I guess Georgia is so I just outclassed everybody and stuff when they play Kentucky, I guess. But 
Clemson look good. Clemson, everybody wrote Clemson off. Clemson gonna be in probably they're gonna be if not in the SEC championship game, they're gonna be right there. Salute, salute, salute. Appreciate everybody that listens live, everybody that checks out the podcast. If you view us on YouTube, keep liking, rating, commenting, and subscribing. We'll be back Friday, Saturday, whenever we reconvene. You know, we'll be here for y'all. Until then, stay safe and be blessed. We out. Gritty, bleeding purple, my city, don't score with the Steelers, no enemy Holds with some Hennessy, catch us out stomping the yard Candy yards, I'm full of McCannery, see, it's nitty gritty Nick and Keith gon' get litty, two times a week giving keys to the city Tune and get with me, I got that, I got that, see in the game a little differently They just be watching the moves, look like Lamar when he step out of pocket Houston, we got a problem, too much for the Texans and whatever ops next We be calling plays like Ed and Ray, look what's good on the ops next Keep it a binge, we stay in the field like m Bank on top of our checks Nitty gritty, bleeding purple, my city, don't score with the Steelers, no enemy Holds in some Hennessy, catch us out stomping the yard Cannon yards, my foot McCannery, see it's nitty gritty Nick and Keith on your litty, two times a week giving keys to the city Tune and get with me, I got that, I got that, see in the game a little differently Nitty gritty, bleeding purple, my city, don't score with the Steelers, no enemy Holds in some Hennessy, catch us out stomping the yard Cannon yards, my foot McCannery, see it's nitty gritty Nick and Keith on your litty, two times a week giving keys to the city Tune and get with me, I got that, I got that, see in the game a little differently